Welcome back for part three of our marker geodes project. So today we're going to finish these up by adding an outer shell using metallic markers. If you don't have metallic markers at home, you can just use a regular black or brown crayon or really any color that you would like. And those of us that are in the classroom are also going to use some shiny silver and gold uh, metallic markers to add some of that shiny sparkly crystal effect um, inside the layers of the geode. Just keep in mind that um, if you are not in the classroom with us, you can certainly substitute any materials that you have available to you. So if you don't have metallic markers, you can use whatever you do have to make it work. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going right around that geode once again to add that outer shell using irregular lines, because remember, irregular lines help these geodes look more natural. And I'm just coloring it in with the kind of grayish black metallic shiny marker. And then I'm going around the outside edge once again with the brown, that copper color. Then I took the gold um, shiny metallic marker and I added some layers of crystals and some shiny sparkly bits to the geode because remember, some geode formations do have those inside as well. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to make another one from start to finish in Fast Forward so that you can see the whole process one more time. This time I'm going to use cool colors instead of warm colors like I did last time. So here we go.